Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking this sketch that we did in a previous video and we are gonna make it into a final watercolor painting. All right, so for our video, we are going to take this sketch that I did in a previous video that I will link um, where I sketched out Mount Bachelor and kind of simplified um, a photograph into this simple sketch. So I'm lightly going to sketch the same scene um, onto my paper. Okay, since our watercolor is transparent, um, again, I'm gonna go and erase my pencil lines lightly. Okay, I'm gonna take my um, 3 4 inch flat brush and I'm gonna do a wash for the sky. And so what I mean by wash is I'm going to dip my paintbrush in water and I'm going to wet the paper first so that I get an even color um, for my sky because I want my sky to not be the focus so I'm not going to put clouds in it I want it to just be an even um, blue going across so I'm just mixing up my blue now I can come in and lightly lay that in I'm gonna let the top be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna come in. Okay, that looks good for the sky. I can let that dry. Um, and while it's drying, I'm gonna come in and do the trees in the foreground. I'm gonna switch brushes to a round brush. To darken my green a little bit, I'm gonna add um, some red, because red is green's complementary color, and that will kind of darken up my green. I'm also gonna add a little bit of blue to it. Okay, now I can come in and start to um, put my trees in down here. And Every little bit, I'm coming up with the paintbrush to get the, the tops, the tips of my, my trees. I'm not gonna go up into my sky yet because that's a little bit wet. And so I'll wait and come back to do that on that side. I'm just pulling this color across the whole way. And then doing the same on this side. This is just a nice base layer right now that we're putting in. We'll come back with a darker green to get more detailed and defined, um, define our shapes of our trees. I checked that just before I started to put some color up in there. That looks good. Okay. Okay, so I'm mixing up a purple, kind of like a dark bluish purple, to come in and start putting some of this on our mountain. I stayed close to my sketch where I kind of had this side a little bit darker and this um, part of our second mountain right here darker and then I'm leaving this lighter. I 
Now once it comes down here, I'm gonna come and pull this down um, behind the trees. to dab that excess off and then just pull this down. Okay, that looks good. And we're not worried about that being on top of our trees because we're gonna come back with a darker green anyway and define our trees. So I'm gonna rinse out my brush. I'm gonna grab um, my flat brush again and come in and do the water. Again, I do um, kind of some strong diagonal lines to get your viewer um, pulled back into your painting. And so I'm gonna come and mix my blue. While it's still wet, I'm coming back with a little bit darker blue in here. Notice I'm leaving um, part of my paper white for some nice um, little highlights on there. Okay, that's good for the water right now. I'm gonna go out, go and rinse my brush off and then make sure that your trees are dry before you come in with your darker green. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now that I have my darker green, I can come in and go every, every little bit and add the darker. But I'm not gonna do it um, right next to it because I want to leave some of that light. And I'm just dabbing in um, the darker. And then I'm pulling it out. I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side. also is doing is helping bring um, look like there's more depth with our trees I'm just going back now um, with no paint on my brush but just pulling some of the paint from um, the paper as it's still wet Now I'm pulling the green out onto the water. I'm gonna rinse off my brush completely and then come back and soften that. Now those edges aren't so hard. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. I'm gonna come with a little bit darker of a purple um, on this edge of our mountains. And as I come back with a little bit darker, it's just helping to fine um, and give this a little bit more depth by having the darker and the lighter. I'm gonna rinse my brush out, get some of that excess water off, and then again, come in and soften some of those edges. I'm 
I'm just dabbing it each time. And then I'm gonna come in with just a little bit of paint on my brush, that same kind of dark blue we made up. And lightly come in and put our edging of our mountain down here. I'm gonna rinse that off my brush and then lightly pull that down. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna come back into my trees real fast and just add a little bit of uh, a yellow. Bring some warmth down in here. that out onto the water a little bit again just to get some of that reflecting of the green on the water rinse up my brush and then okay that looks good and I could leave it just like that or we could always come back with um, a fine tip pen and then kind of redefine some of the trees and our mountain. Um, it's totally up to you on preference and the style you like. Thank you for following along in today's video. I hope you enjoy painting this with me. I'm excited to see yours. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. And turning it into a final watercolor landscape painting. <laughs>